Aren't you tired of Archie Anki farming the island? Do you don't want to spend more time on PvP than farming? Are you tired of getting into some Dino's mouth each time to go for metal? Or just tired of breaking your bones by coal just to get some resources? Then this video is for you. I will teach you how to solo farm on Ark. So guys, the first uh, spot that I want to show you is here on Balguero. On this, uh, it's really close to the oil cave, so maybe it's a. Um, you can think it's a, a, a high transit area, but it's not. So uh, while I kill this stuff, just <laughs> don't forget to subscribe to the channel, uh, turn on notifications, leave a like or a comment below, all that good stuff, and let's go for this. Yeah, that's. One of the problems here is uh, Terrorbeards, Carnos, uh, pretty much everything that is on the Redwoods, but um, it's not hard actually. So just come with the Archie and the Anki. This is actually a good farm for um, low levels, like if you are just starting the game, because uh, you just need an, an Anki and an Archie, only that. But we are going to um, get some more advanced later, more spots. But actually, this one is a really good one. I usually uh, use this one for set up the first base. Uh, so I actually farm all the stuff here and then travel to island or center or whatever. So we have some metal here, some crystal. And there is actually a good spot for stone as well, because all the the rocks on the left side, they are all stone and flint. So you come here for with a do edit, it's the same. So yeah, that that one. And the redwoods, they are a tree from redwood, so they have uh, so much uh, wood. So it can be easily done with a casteroid or mammoths or whatever. So, the best map for farming is actually Aberration. So, for metal farming, if you are uh, playing at solo, the best way is coming for uh, these metal nodes. These ones with uh, the blue thingy at the middle. You want to turn the light on if you are farming on the blue zone, because namely it can spawn. Choose, uh, take the Mining drill, yeah, this one is not metal, it's a normal one, but you can see the difference. Yeah, this is metal. So, yeah, got it. I got actually a decent uh, amount of metal. You just need to uh, get a blue stalker with um, high weight. Just imprint level up on weight. So, then what we should do is... Drop yourself close to the metal spots, farm it, and jump back on the blue stalker. And that's it. And if you have the, the mining drill in your hands, you have weight reduction for metal and some other resources. So, yeah, itsy pitsy. And on this spot, like it's in the waterfall below the rings and aberration this is this spot this one is really a really good one for wood just drop a rat here and farm it it's it's really easy and well that's that's all actually you can get the slot gap wood really here if you have a whip i guess you can move the the rat but it's actually not necessary so again Put the mining drill on you to get a uh, weight reduction, get the wood and jump in on the blue stalker. And that's it. This is really a good one for uh, if you have the, the base here in aberration, this is a really good method. So that's the, the, the wood spot. Down the wood spot. Here, this way, we have the poly farm. So, this is a red zone, but there is no radiation. 
yet you need to go till this but it is it is actually pretty safe here so here don't go farther than this because there is radiation uh you can turn the the light off here because there is not nameless spawning on this uh this farming spot okay if you got it yeah i have radiation so uh here i don't have any rat so drop a bear and those uh you need to farm those uh lighting plants yeah there is oh there is one inside the other one oh these ones yeah these light ones so you'll get really good amount of poly you can farm it with mining drill you can farm it with hands and i think there is some other tools that you can farm it but actually the best one is the bear so let's go you can go all the way till the uh, waterfall well it's element waterfall action um, yeah that way let's go yeah if you if you have the, the light on all those uh, light seekers will go for you but yeah just turn it off there is no nameless spawning so better to not uh, aggro the the dinosaur here so this spot there is oh apolovia <laughs> i don't want that <laughs> but actually it's pretty simple because you can shoot from from the bear so like that so this is spot and that's it don't go farther and ah i'm slot cap check yep only for days boys yeah it's really a good one so talking about polymer let's go crystal isles this is the b cave so what you need to do here is come with a chainsaw and hit these ones if the first time you hit there will be a beast coming for you so kill it with whatever i don't care like it can be a stalker it can be um whatever but they will unmount you maybe a good idea is to come with the megatherium but as you can see there is no problem killing with the chainsaw <laughs> so yeah just be prepared there is more here oh this one coming for us got it nice another one oh this there is more coming all right what oh come on <laughs> well i guess that's the last one so now that it's all clear just go with the chainsaw like that you get uh, some ray flowers you get uh, some honey and the polymer it's a, it's actually a really good farm but a uh, lot of people coming for here but because the bobs doesn't like aberration so guys for flint what you should do is come in for genesis and run some missions and buy it actually it's really really cheap so you can get a slot cap with a really few missions and it's a slot cap yeah that's it boys so again on crystal isles we're going for Peran. so get an angler fish you can tame it uh on aberration it's the easiest way i guess because there is a uh, low deep um I don't know how to say that lakes i i think it's not lakes but almost so we can get a really good amount of pearls on these uh little lakes here on crystal isles there is a bunch of them on that um almost that coordinates that i show on the beginning so yeah 
If you see the pink trees, that's the way. So, if you want uh, some electronics instead, you can come for these ones. Yeah. You get electronics, you get uh, element, but actually it's really, really good for crystal. You come here, you get so much crystal. Uh, I have the locations for this one because I did a um, element farm video, which I uh, will put on the video description. And one thing that I don't know why uh, there is not so much player that know about it is that you can charge batteries here. So you can actually uh, farm light on the extinction terminal. So yeah, it's actually a really good one. It's better than the aberration because there is no like limit on these ones. So also in extinction, you can farm sulfur here uh, for the flame arrows or whatever, or flame flower um, ammo, but Actually, that is really, really good one here, is uh, this condensed gas. This one, if you put in a forge, you can get uh, condensed gas balls, like that. Just put it, and over the time, you will get some, instead of uh, the gas structure and aberration. So, still on extinction, what you need always on aberration is the gems, but it's maybe, um, if you are new at the game, it's maybe uh, some dangerous place <laughs> for you aberration. So, you can farm the, um, on these white trees, you can farm the blue gem, right? This one is the same as using uh, blue gems on your blueprints. And some funga good. And this is the red variant here. Just come here and still the same so you can replace the blue and the red gems for this one it's actually so much better come here to farm this than going into the rat zone and get uh, clapped by some reapers <laughs> so yeah right if you're going for kiting just come the center uh, actually, you can go whatever cave you want, alright, because if there is bugs inside, it's fine. So here, on this one, this is uh, the underworld entrance here, on the center. There is a lot of them, like, I don't know if what, three or four or five, but this one, uh, it's the one that we go right now. So... It's flyer allowed, so don't care about it, but I would drop a Megatherium. With a Megatherium, what we need to do is kill a bug, then we will get a buff. Like, I will start hitting so much more. Let's see, yeah, yeah, it's like three times <laughs> or four times. So let's go. Let's kite in farm all the way till uh, the underworld. Like if if you if we keep going on this uh, bridge stone until the end, we will get into the underworld, center underworld, which is like a little biome, which is a cave with a lake inside. So yeah, I will keep going on this bridge and. I will, I will show you some stuff on the underworld actually. There is some good farms there. At least for a solo player, because um, the thing is, like, people is not coming on this underworld. I don't know why, but people is not coming to build up here, so it's a really uh, easy spot to farm. Alright, I'm slot cap. We threw the meat and let's see. We will get some hide here from the snakes, actually. Some tributes. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm not even the half of the cave and I am slot cap with kiting already. It's a night farm. So, this is the underworld, guys. 
here there is a Bronto spawn. Uh, there is Bronto, Rex, uh, Diplo, Trix. Mm, what else? Oh, Stegos. All the stuff that give you good hide. So, if you come here with a Giga, oh, I'm slot cap again. You can get a really good amount of uh, hide, at least for for the beginning, at least for when you are just starting the game. You can do it. Just tame some obis. Uh, imprint. Level up all in health on HP. And let's kill it. Oh, there, there was an option here. Yeah. There was an option for kill it. What the hell? Oh, that's the option. What wait, 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 wait. That that was that was weird. Options? What? Options back? And I need a pair, so what? <laughs> Alright, so for farming it, just take a 30 and use the C attack with the C key. So, uh, with that, you get a really good amount <laughs> of uh, height. Look, it is only one obvious. Just look at the damage and you need to level up all those levels on delicate farming. So, that's the best way for height. And... Another thing with Ethereum is like you can farm uh, fiber in any uh, spot. You see some bushes, you can do it. Just I, I think it's a right click, and you get really a really good amount of fiber. So guys, uh, that's all. I hope you enjoyed the video, and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think on the comments below, and click the hand if you like. And guys, if you have some other uh, materials that you want to have, some um, resources that you want to farm, just leave it on the comments and why not? Just jump in the Discord and we can talk about it. So that's all guys, I will catch you on the next one.